turning pain into purpose. This weekend, they are taking New Yorkers on a ride for a cure. Emily Francis is live now in the newsroom with details. Hi, Emily. Hello, Jackie. All right, this is an inspirational story of a 38-year-old woman who refuses to let cancer beat her spirit. In the midst of fighting for her life, she and her supportive husband have raised over $2 million to help Sloan Kettering find a cure for rare cancers. For Jennifer Goodman Lynn and her husband David, this is more than just a song to spin to. A very high quality charity and a good purpose. It defines Jennifer's fight with abdominal cancer that today she found out has come back for a fifth time. Instead of tearing these soulmates apart, cancer has brought them even closer together. Would you say that you guys uh, are soulmates? Dave whispered in my ear, you have this type of cancer and we're going to beat it. And, you know, I had that one moment of, is this the guy who's going to get me through? And he absolutely has been. Fate brought them together at Harvard Business School when Dave wasn't even ready to meet Mrs. Wright. Somebody wanted to set us up, but uh, typical guy, didn't call her right away. I was in the mindset of meeting many, a lot of people. I was waiting for the call that never came. So when it came eight months later, I was... Came a little late. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out they met by chance because Dave wanted her swank apartment on campus. There was a loophole in the lottery that if she would sign our name onto the lease before she moved out, we could get around the lottery. That was our first date. I had to convince her to give us the apartment. He didn't read the small writing in the lease that said, sure, you can have the apartment, but then you get me too for life. <laughs> In 2003, these lovebirds got married and started their life in New York. Yeah, this is my favorite picture from our wedding because whenever there's an, a bump in the road, it reminds me that laughter will get us through. Well, that bump in the road came less than a year after they got married. Instead of getting pregnant, she got diagnosed with abdominal sarcoma. The doctor said, well, I'm, I wouldn't do that unless Dave is prepared to be a single father. And sort of the room went silent and we, at that point, realized how serious this fight was going to be. But after four rounds of chemo and surgery, Jennifer has never lost hope. I've, I've always been able to disassociate myself from the disease, meaning, you know, I always say I have cancer, but cancer doesn't have me. If you're going to have to go through cancer, you have to have fun. So every time I relapse, I buy another wig. So I'm on four instead now. Of shoes, I said shoes, instead, instead I buy wigs. Lows, you're buying wigs. And they're a lot more money, I've got to tell you. Or her sense of humor. And now, this power couple has turned pain into purpose. Ooh, we're at $2,080,000. With this Sunday's fourth annual Cycle for Survival at Equinox Gym. In the past year, we've lost four or five friends. Why am I the lucky one? And that propels you. I mean, if I didn't keep helping, I would feel like I wasn't being responsible. Jen admits she's fearless in this fight and is already planning for when she wins the battle again. When you beat cancer again? Yep. This spring, you and I are going to go skydiving. I love it. Can we make that agreement? Can Absolutely. Shake on, it? shake on it. All right, Jennifer uh, has never lost hope. She uh, has to start chemo again next week, just days after Cycle for Survival's event. It takes place at two Equinox Gym locations this Sunday all day. For more info, go to WPIX.com. For information on how to participate, it's going to be a great event, and literally they're taking over the entire gym. Thousands of people are already registered. Right. Back to you guys. Thank you. I'm